I would describe myself as... Um, oh my god. <laughs> if I was to describe myself in three words, I think I would say... Traveler? Chocolate fun? Mm. And probably a very sensitive person. A bit chaotic. I think that I'm stubborn. Yeah, everybody is afraid of me. <laughs> Why? Adventurous, curious, and fun. I would describe Wanda as kind, empathetic, and open. Occasionally funny, uh, definitely crazy. I would describe Naomi as empathetic. You uh, can't take the same one. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been many times before to the question if I feel more like Slovak or Czech or European or whatever. It's really hard for me to say like what is the criterion that you use to say like who are you? If people would ask where do you come from, I would say Finland. Then I'd say that I come from Europe. I see my identity as being 50% Estonian and 50% Scottish. <laughs> First and foremost, I'm a Londoner now. Um, after that, I'm probably Czech or even Moravian, which is the part of the country I'm from. Um, then I would say I'm European. Uh, after that, I'm probably sort of British. It's slightly growing on me. <laughs> the bigger part of me is Czech than, than Vietnam. I feel, I feel very comfortable in, in, in Europe in general. I don't really feel the connection with someone who only speak Vietnamese because my mentality is also, is also influenced uh, influenced by the Czech culture. So I don't really relate to the Vietnamese who are one one hundred percent Vietnamese. There is thing among uh, older Estonians. So if I'm from Ukraine, then most probably I came for some seasonal work on the fields or construction. So when I tell that uh, I work as a developer, ah, construction developer, no, a software developer. Many times when people ask me if I was in a Chernobyl or uh, do I know, uh, I don't know, some like a Putin because Russia is not so far from Ukraine. Everyone asks me, where are you from? And I said Warsaw because that's where I moved to uh, England. But then they like, but where are you actually from? So I say Poland because I was born in Poland. But then people are like, but you don't look Polish. Where are you actually from? Just tell me. Once I mentioned that I'm Canadian, people don't believe that it. Like, there's more to this story. You're black. <laughs> where are your parents from? They see the color of my skin. They automatically assume where I'm from. And there is a body or behavioral change, you know, in the body language. Oftentimes, our society wants to see identity as a solid into a box or something that we can label because it's easier to grasp. However, oftentimes our identity, internal identity is more fluid and more nuanced. Well, in Germany, when I say I'm German-Turkish, people is automatically kind of think of me as less because they think of me as less German. I think of myself as 100% German and 100% Turkish. You know, it's two hearts in my chest, so to say. It made me understand that I had to find that feeling of belonging internally. I could not find the answer from the world or from the society. I think that people get very uncomfortable when you talk to them about your identity in a serious way and you want to point out things to them where you feel that there are shortcomings. But I think these are really, really, really important conversations to have. Every time I'm talking to people, even it doesn't matter if they are Vietnamese or Czech, I always use the word us because I know uh, the power of the word them and it creates barriers and walls. We should just let people decide for themselves their identity. You know, people belong because they believe they do. I identify myself as human. I don't see myself as anything beyond that. I don't belong to a specific country. I don't belong to a specific plot of land on this earth. I just belong. Mm -hmm.